We are, we are in the resting position, got his head, and now I end up in the mouth. That's anyhow this can happen. So you know, first, the turn. first thing I need to do is knee shield. You bring your shield in. Yes, and control my arm. Control his arm. And now because I'm the, pushing here. Control this arm. Control this arm as well, so he can't punch there either. So I've got my knee right here. And now I'm pushing him that way, pulling him in this way. And, and and sweeping him over to that side. Okay. And now we're in the same position what we've been doing. Yes. Nice. All those kind of <sighs> nice things we've been seeing Oy. all afternoon. That is uh now Johannes if you didn't allow him to work Yes. Then I guess we'd just be doing jujitsu. <laughs> Somebody's gonna win a moment yeah, in time. Yeah, yeah, this is a typical jujitsu yeah. uh, position. But like I said, I um, look at that now not from a perspective of uh, fair fight, right. because um, I, I wanna survive in this position, right? So I have uh, two main targets. I have his eyes and I have his groin. So, and when I go out, I push one and go out of that. See, and then I end up in the same position here. Gotcha. For example, yes, this is just an example. So when I'm here, you know, he maybe he tried to punch me or something like that. I have to control that, right? And do that, so I have to do that. And then, and this time I have to go, go to this position here, see? So I choke him here and go into this position Oy. and control. Yeah. The way I did before. That's that's when the eye gouge and the really dirty stuff yes. plays into. Yes, because uh, otherwise he yeah. closes his, uh, his legs yeah. and I can't go, go out. So absolutely. I have to attack him yeah. um, really hard. So he has. I have to force uh, open the legs. Yeah, and you can only defend your head or your groin one at a time. Yeah. In I mean, you can't punch the groin in combat sports, and you can't eye gouge in combat yeah. sports. But having a jujitsu base or a German jujitsu base really. That's where you can, uh, that's the, like the engine where you can apply all of these dirty things that in a combat sport environment are exactly. not allowed. Yes. Dirty. Yes. Dirty, dirty. So from, from the other perspective, like you said, um, it's very important. Don't allow him that he can, that he can punch. And I would bring my, my shield like that. Yeah. So see that I, I don't want to have that. So, and I do a sweep, right? Yeah. Oh, but and you're holding. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go into this position, yeah, and then I do stuff like that. It's the same principle. Yeah. There's your, yeah. See, oh. it's the same principle. Beautiful. Ah. What we call in Pekiti is contrada position. So you go into your contrada. It's the same thing, but just on the ground. There's. This is really interesting. It's interesting. Contrada's on the ground. Yeah. You can do hubat on the ground. Exactly. Yeah, right. So I have learned a lot in Pekiti what you can use on the ground fighting yeah. as well. Show us how Hubad applies to the ground. If you, uh, um, you're in his guard. Yes. <clears throat> if you're in his guard, tell me how Hubad can play here. He tried to punch me, so there I go into is. this position. Perfect. Right. Yeah. And check both arms yeah. because I don't wanna, I don't want, uh, I have. Not control about one arm because he, me might can I can't see it. He might he can get, get a knife. He, he get an knife off and stab me, and I and didn't see it. So immediately check both arms, right? And then I I go over, right? I see. Bang. Bang. Uh. This is for reality. I might get step over here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, come into the same position. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. So use my blade of the knee here. Yeah. That's why it's hurt so much. 